In this video, we're going to talk about upgrading from ASP.NET Core 3.1 to ASP.NET Core 5, which is .NET 5. So if we go to any of these projects, just click on the project itself, it will bring up the project file. And you can see that the target framework is .NET Core App 3.1. And if you go over here, it's targeting .NET Standard 2.0. Go over here, same thing, Net Standard 2.0. Donut 5 was released in November 2020. And one of the goals of Donut 5 is one Dotnet, right? It's just having one target framework instead of having Donut Core, Donut Standard, all kinds of those different different types of frameworks. So Donut 5 unites all of them. So let's actually start upgrading them. And, and then we'll show, I'll show you step-by-step step of the upgrade process. All right, so first of all, you need to go to your browser and then uh, you, you, search, you search for SDK, uh, .NET 5 SDK. All right, so .NET 5, .NET 5 SDK. And then you just go to the first link and this is the, the link, right? So at this moment, it's January 5th, 2021 the latest version is, is this. And it says that uh, you need at least Visual Studio 2019 version 16.8. So first you need to upgrade your Visual Studio 2019 to version 6. And to do that, you go to the Visual Studio installer, right? So Visual, search for Visual Studio installer, go to Visual Studio installer, and then Click on yes to open up Visual Studio Installer. And it shows, it keeps showing up on the other screen. So I'm just going to bring it over here and it takes time to detect what is already installed, right? Since I have already installed uh, the latest version 16.8.3, so I can show you the upgrade process, but uh, it's basically just, uh, there is an update button when there's update, right? So you can see that, um, my Visual Studio 2017, I have update. So if you haven't updated yet, this is gonna be an update button. So click on that button to update to the latest version. So once you have done that, then what you need to do is to download the SDK. Okay, so there is this option SDK and also a runtime. Uh, if you only download the runtime, um, it's gonna help you to run, for example, host your a .NET 5 application on your server inside IIS. So you have the IIS runtime support, but your Visual Studio won't, um, like you won't be able to create .NET 5 applications. So if you want to develop, uh, you want to create software with .NET 5, then you need to download. So just scroll down to the operating, operating system that you have and uh, for example, for Windows, I'm going to choose this one, right? So I have already downloaded it and uh, I'll bring it up over here. You can see that it looks like this, Donna SDK 5.0101 uh, Windows for Windows X 64-bit, uh, right? So basically you just double click and then click next, next, next. It's going to be a very smooth process. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you and eventually you will uh, have it installed and if if it fails then make sure you have the Visual Studio latest version installed make sure you have chosen the correct version correct or operating system first and then the, whether it's x64 or x86 it uh, has to be the correct one you download it and you should be able to install that and once that's done you, know, you restart your Visual Studio and if you uh, start adding your project, you're gonna see that there's more options, right? For example, if I am going to choose the SP.NET Core web application and then go to web application, and then uh, I'm just going to choose this one, for example, it's going to tell you this. For .NET Core, of course, you're gonna have this the default one will become 5.0, right? 
And then once you create it, your target framework will show not, sorry, lowercase, not five. And if you create a, um, actually, let me go through that process just so that you are convinced. So I'll go to new project. And then if I go to web application and then doesn't matter, I can choose web API. I can, and since I'm on web API, you can see that the, by default, you have this open API support, uh, basically the swagger documentation thing already comes with it by default. You can choose to uncheck by default it's checked, uh, but that's not the part that I'm going to show. I want to show right now. I want to, what I want to show is once you have this application selected, you go over here, you can see that the target framework is not five zero, right? And I'll show you another one, which is if we create a class library, just regular class library, if we choose done a standard or, or let's choose done a core, right? And you go to this, it's still showing you net core app 3.1. It doesn't give you the option of .NET 5, but if you go to target framework, right? If you go to target framework here, change to .NET 5, then go to your, um, right? Click on this again. You can see that it's changed to .NET 5.0. It doesn't matter um, whether you use a .NET Core class library or use .NET standard class library. The way to upgrade it, let me show you the .NET standard class library also. So <clears throat> I have done a standard library, which is this one. It shows net standard 2.0. Uh, and then if you go to here, it, you can't even see the .NET 5 support, right? So, but that's not a problem. All you need to do is just like this one. All you need to do is put your target framework to net 5.0 and that's going to do the magic, right? So if you want to upgrade, change, replace this with NAT 5.0. So we are going to do just that with all of our libraries and projects. So I'm going to remove the, the ones that I just created right now. Okay. I'm going to remove this web application as well. And then uh, I'm going to open up the folder and delete the libraries that I just created. This one, this one, and this one. All right, so I have it deleted. Um, now I just go, I want to go over. I believe I just changed this to not net 5.0, right? So before changing this, it was like this, right? So just go over here, change this net core app 3.1 to net 5.0. Now that your Visual Studio and SDK supports it, feel free to do that for all of all kinds of projects, right? Because now .NET 5 unites all kinds of them uh, projects to have the same target framework. So you can do that uh, right after installation. And then what you need to do is to uh, upgrade all of the downloaded packages. So if you have packages downloaded, these packages will have to be upgraded to support net five. Otherwise uh, it's going to be a mismatch and you're going to have problems. See this one is still 3.1, right? So all you have to do is go to the solution. Instead of go to each project, go to solution and click on manage new get packages. For. And then you can see that these are the packages that you installed in the solution, but and you can see that uh, you have, this one has a higher version for .NET 5, this one also, and this one also. But you, you don't have to uh, upgrade them manually one by one. Just go to the updates, right? And click on select all, click on the update button. Then it's going to update all of them at once, right? And then uh, for whatever reason, it's showing up an, again, <laughs> another one. Uh, so, we just do that again, make sure that this is empty. There's no updates anymore. Um, then uh, coming back, you see there's no errors. So coming back, uh, you can see that this is up. Uh, well, this one was already like that. Uh, packages, you can see this is already updated. And over here, you can see these are all updated, right? So let's build our solution again, making sure 
that everything's still built. All right, so everything's still built. So let's summarize our steps. First, we need to upgrade our Visual Studio to the latest version. And then we need to install the SDK for .NET 5. And then thirdly, we need to change target framework for every single project within our solution to .NET 5.0. And lastly, uh, we need to update our NuGet packages to the latest version. So this is the way to upgrade it.